Hello and welcome back guys. Okay, so here we're looking at how to delete uh, messages. Okay, so we're going to look at how to delete individual messages. Then we can look at how to delete an entire thread. So let's go back to our text editor here and let's go to chat here uh, where we actually load the message controls, right? Now these message controls are inside a function, so we are going to api.php, that's where the message controls are. So at this point, I can add, uh, I can add in between these two divs, the ending div and beginning here, I can add something like delete, delete this thread. Or you can just say delete messages that's up to you so leave it there so it should show up here any moment delete this thread i'll wait for it to refresh and it's actually not showing so let's come back here one second okay so the reason it's not showing is because when it's re simply refreshing um when it's simply refreshing here, it's uh, it doesn't refresh the controls. So I have to go back to contacts and actually click a contact for me to see the update. So delete this thread is right there. So what I will do is put this inside a, um, a span so I can put some styling. like so and I'm going to put a style with color I'm going to say color let's try some gray just like that like so okay so delete this thread and let's add a cursor there I'm going to say cursor pointer like that pointer so you can do gray or you can do blue if you want so that uh, well, let's try purple so that when somebody looks at this they can tell that uh, it's supposed to have it's supposed to be a link but it looks like we are having trouble closing that okay so it's closing okay for some reason there was some issues there I don't know why let me go back here okay so it's working Oop, there we go so that is an issue oh I think it happens when we refresh the page here I think this is what happens because when we refresh the page uh, Wait a second here. If we go here, you see that the message holder or whatever, I think it's this one, the message holder parent is supposed to have a display of none. It's supposed to have a display of none when we click here. But the issue is if it refreshes with the uh, content then it will fill up this space and then the uh, the style is refreshed because we don't have display none here so I think this is what's causing that issue there okay but we're going to sort it out in a later video for now let's see how to delete threads okay so this is actually quite easy now let's put something here so we can delete an individual uh, message if we wanted to. So I have this image of a trash can inside my uh, UI icons folder. Now you can download a version of yourself uh, that, that you want to use or you can uh, get from the link in the description where all the files are. Okay, so this one is called trash.png. So what I will do is go to API, 
because this is where my uh, messages are and what we want to do is put a trash can at the end of each of these so I will say let me come back here mm hmm so the same way we have the styles for this div right here is the same way uh, we're going to have styles for so for the trash can so let me go up here and say uh, where is this let's try with uh, message let's try message right so let me just duplicate this one now the thing is uh, I'm putting these styles in the index page but you can actually put them right here uh, in these that's that's also fine so let me come here and say message right uh, div image okay so let me just be very specific here I'm just going to say message right trash so by putting that it means I'm looking for something with an ID of trash okay so what I will keep here is the width and height this one will be square so I'm just going to put 20 and 20 and then I'm just going to remove that margin border radius out border I'm not going to be needing it but I need a position absolute then I need the top to be maybe 10 and right 10 so we're going to see so this is message right so I want this on the so message right is this one so I want this on the left so I'm just going to say left and we're going to put a minus sign minus 10 pixels something like that so let me come back here to API and so down here I'm going to put an image Ooh, where is that now the issue here is uh, let me come back here we have this one where it's message right image so this is going to affect any images we put in there so what I will do is go to back here message right so wherever there are images and the image we're targeting is this one so I'm just going to give it an ID and say ID is equal to profile or I'm just going to say prof short for profile image prof IMG something like this so let me copy this ID so that I can target this specifically so I'll go up to message left and do exactly that as well right there message left message right source float right okay great so this is uh, good so that I can come back to index here and instead of this I can do that okay because now I can add multiple images and not worry about the uh, the style is conflicting so let me remove that as well and just put that there okay great so now there is the message trash where is that message right trash there we go okay so come back message right where is this api.php so there we go all right so i want to put the message right at the bottom here right at the end but it doesn't really matter where you put it here because it has a position of absolute so it will still move to its designated area so I'm going to give it an ID of trash like so uh -huh. so source is going to be let me copy that so instead of tick we have trash right so let's see that in action there we go so I just wait for it to refresh oh I have to refresh this because I've changed some styles in index okay there we go so we have those things there which is quite nice but the top 
should be increased to 15 and it seems we can't find the image itself so ui miss images so it's not in images it's in icons icons like so let me do the same for okay just for now and there we go so there is the delete so you can do it this way or you can uh, put some text if you want uh, saying delete this message if i go back to index.php i can put a cursor here and use the pointer that way it will change very soon just wait for it uh -oh. so it's supposed to be a pointer here let's see oh since i'm changing in the index.php i have to refresh the page so there we go so it's pointing there pointing now let's add some uh on click listener here i'm just going to say on click open delete underscore message so we want to open this uh, let's put event there we want to open this function let me remove my word wrap here great so delete message event and now for us to know what we are going to delete so we're going to add an attribute called id now for the id of this message but since we already have id here we can create our own attribute msg id is equal to and then we're going to put something from data i'm going to copy that and put it here it's going to be id instead like so so this is the id of this uh, row from the database okay something like this is going to work i think okay so let's create this function called uh, delete message so let me copy that of course we're going to go to the index page down where there are all these functions at this point where is this right there so add one more function oops okay so delete message event so let's put e just change it to e here you can change it to whatever you want but here you can't you have to use event so the first thing we have to do is ask the question so we're going to put an if statement and say if right so now we need the user to confirm here whether they want to continue something or not so let me see if we already created the confirm thing i think we did yeah we already did are you sure you want to log out so this is what we are looking for so let me copy this and let me find uh delete message right there so we'll put it inside an if statement and we're just going to say if confirm are you sure you want to log out let me remove that so if this equates to true then we're going to do this here now we're not asking this question so we're just going to say are you sure you want to delete this message okay now if that works out we need to get the id so remember that we put the id on uh where did we put the id on this attribute msg id so to get that we're just going to say var message id is equal to uh e dot target so e to, dot target refers to whatever whatever it is we have clicked dot get attribute like that and what's the attribute that's the one right there so that's the message id we have to delete so now from here on it's easy we only have to do get data this function as we have been doing so let me get one that is straightforward like so 
actually we will be adding some data in here so let me get this one get data so let me put it right here Ooh. so get data we'll change this to delete message okay so what i need to send is the message id so i'm going to say it's actually a raw id so i'm just going to name it raw id like that and it's going to be equated to this now since there's only one item we don't need the comma so delete message get data okay great and that's all we actually needed to do so immediately the messages are deleted it would be a good idea to reload our messages so we already do have a function that does that get chats uh, where is the one that refreshes the chats that's the one i want this one right here so this is the idea boom chat refresh so that's what we need to do so after sending this we send another one to show us the new chats okay so current user this is fine scene status this is fine okay so delete now we have to create this delete message right there so to do that let's go to api uh, and create provision for it so down at the very bottom here let me duplicate that and i'm going to say delete delete message okay same thing here delete that's correct right delete message okay let me come back here to yep that is correct so now <clears throat> excuse me we need a file called delete message dot php so instead of struggling here we could just go to chats go back to our includes folder chats copy paste and then change that to delete message maybe it would have been easier to copy the send message but you decide so this is where the data is so what data are we looking for so first of all we need to know our own user id and then we need to know the what is this let's come back to index.php what are we sending here the raw id right okay raw id mm-hmm okay so we have to know that we are actually part of this uh, message because we don't want people deleting messages that they are not participating in so let's come back here and what we need is the raw id so let me remove this user id i'm just going to say raw id like this so that's the raw id there great Okay, so we don't need anything else here. We don't need any of this, so I'll remove all that. And we will need to run a query here, so. And that's pretty much it. And I don't actually need to receive a message from this message back. I just need to delete and know that things have been deleted. So I can actually remove everything else like so. So once I have the ID here, uh, copy this, what I can do is I can simply come here and say delete from, oh, wait a minute. We are not supposed to delete actually. If you remember very well, let's come back here a minute. We created a uh, two, uh, how is this two columns where we can mark these as deleted instead of actually deleting them because they are shared messages so 
now I can delete <coughs> excuse me I can delete uh, either as the sender or receiver let me see if it's uh, deleted sender okay so I have to find out whether I'm the sender or the receiver of this message okay once I find out whichever of them is mine then I can mark this side as deleted so let me come back here and let's do that so let's first select from you uh, for messages actually word wrap again strikes again okay so select all from messages where raw where ID it's just the ID we're looking for where ID is equal to raw ID so let me copy this I needed it there as well and there limit one so result is equal to that so if we do find this we are saying if is array result which means we found it so let's check now if uh, if I am part of this message so my own user ID is inside session user ID like that so I've just copied that from the charts.php so let's go back to delete there so I'll say if that user ID of mine is equal to so it's going to be equal to either two of these situations so either the result now the result returns an, uh, an array of objects so I'm just going to say result I'll just convert it to row I'm just going to say it's going to result zero like that so here I will use raw it's much shorter so if it's equal to raw uh, sender for example so if it's equal to sender or let me put here oh wait a minute I can't do what I'm trying to do here it's wrong actually I can no unless if it was one and zero so here if this is equal to that copy or if this is equal to receiver any of the two then we are good to go so what we might do actually is just uh, select one first so let me come back here if I am the sender let's do this and if I am the receiver let's also do something for either of the two so so here if user ID is equal to sender if it's equal to receiver we still delete but if it's none then we're just going to bypass this which is okay so let me copy this part here and put it here as well so there's no need for this array here we're just going to put a straightforward uh, so I'm going to say delete from messages where ID is equal to so right here I'm just going to put an actual ID first of all I'll put single quotes then I'm going to put raw ID delete from messages where ID is equal to oh sorry I forgot again it's supposed to be update messages sorry so we're going to say update messages set now since we know that I am the sender so I'm just going to say set sender wait a minute what's the column name deleted sender so set deleted sender is equal to one right so there we go 
so update messages set deleted sender is equal to one where id is equal to that limit one and then here it's write and not read and there's no need to get the result so let me copy this and put it right here just change a few things it's going to be received by here let me just copy that boom right there and that's actually it so let's give it a spin shall we so here we see that uh, deleted sender deleted receiver both have zero 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 so let's go in here and let's try and delete testing again so let's delete this one boom are you sure you want to delete this message mm, yes so let's come back here and see if we deleted something it's testing again so there we go deleted sender testing again so it's actually working